Did you know that the word bikini is associated with the detonation of an atomic bomb? Or did you know that despite the popular belief, SOS does not stand for Save Our Ship? Or what is the reason behind the names of different days of the week? Click on each image to find out the interesting story behind the origin of that word. Swimsuits used to be designed in a conservative manner covering a large part of the body. In July 1946, a French designer introduced a bold new design that revealed the woman's navel for the first time. He chose the name Bikini for it after the Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean where United States had performed a nuclear test a few days earlier. He hoped that this new swimsuit would have explosive commercial and cultural reaction. Public responded positively to the new name and it became widely accepted. Days of the week are named after gods and goddesses. The goddess of the sun is the main reason behind the naming of Sunday. Monday has its roots in Old English and means the moon's day. The moon used to be personified as a god. Tuesday means the day of Tyr and is named after the god of war and law. Wednesday is named after Woden, the god of fury. Thursday is named after Thor, the god of thunder and strength. Freya, the goddess of love and beauty, is the motivation behind the naming of Friday. And finally, Saturday is named after the god of Saturn. Some have associated the distress signal SOS with phrases such as save our ship. Interestingly, SOS is not an abbreviation or an acronym and doesn't stand for anything. SOS was chosen by the German government in 1905 because it could be translated into a simple Morse code message of three dots, three dashes and three dots. The simple code remained the maritime radio distress signal until 1999. To discover more interesting origins of words such as chess, bank and canary, click on each image. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.